Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to do what I promised to you guys last week on our Facebook community. Mm. So last week I promised you that I'm going to give you a trick on how to create a cost landing page using VC, using Visual Composer and and let your students purchase the cost directly in that landing page instead of the common cost page. So to be illustrate, here is the normal cost landing page. You can change the you can click on the edit cost button and change it change its description, change its content, but this is the area that, that your content will change to so you have almost no control over the layout, the the normal layout of the cost page. So, so that is pretty sad. But now, using this method, you will be able to create cost landing page like this, with using Visual Composers, and you can do whatever you want with the page. You can add images. You can change the layout. You can add instructor like this. You can add curriculum. You can add the CTA button at the end of the page. So it is pretty awesome. But a word of warning before doing this, I'm going to give you some warning because it is a trick. So it doesn't always work, and it only work on paid course, not free course because free courses they work in a different way so it only works with f with paid courses and if you are using WooCommerce for LearnPress the uh, trick would be a bit different if you are only using PayPal and in this tutorial I'm teaching you how to do it with WooCommerce LearnPress okay so let's start before that, I will show you the preview of this buy this course button. So if you click on it, it will redirect you to the uh, checkout page with your account, become a PHP master to your account. It has been added to your account, and all you have to do left is, your, is to fill in your information and place your order. So you can also use PayPal here. Let's go back and let's start now we need to go back to this page and see now you have to learn that the differences between here and here is the by this course button because if you want to create a page like this you can do it very easily with visual composer you can just do it but but this button is very special you cannot have it um, if you just add the link of this page to this button, it will be nonsense because if, you, if your user click on this, it will be re redirected to this page. So that is nonsense. So the difference is, is only the button. And now we all, we, I will teach you how to extract this button to a blank Visual Composer page. So let's click on it, right click and choose inspect to see what is actually behind this button so here is a code for the button you can see and its parent is a form so actually this is a form and whenever you click on the form it will send all the information like like you are buying this course and there is a single purchase and it's a added to cart with the ID of 7201 the cost ID is 7201 and it will send all the information to this exact link because it has no exit. In this form, we have name, we have classes, we have method, we have end type, but there is no action. So that implies that it is sending all the all this information to this link and then the back end in the back end the system will check and proceed further so we will we will add edit as HTML and copy it and create a new page 
create a new page. So the, the general idea is that if you can and if you can put this button into a widget, a small widget in a Visual Composer page, then you can do all the rest easily. So now come back to our page. Uh, have change to backend mode, and we can add element because we had a an, an HTML code. Now we will, we will is the HTML section. Okay, so add the raw HTML, and I'm going to paste it here. Let's do some cleaning to the code by removing any unusual. Uh, irrelevant blank blank space. Okay, so here is a form. So because it has no action, if you just search, it changes and publish it. It will show a button that submit to this link. So we are going to add an action of action equal this link. Copy and paste. So, if we click on the bu the button, we, it will send to this link all this free information, like the ID is seventy two zero one, and it's a single purchase. Let's save and okay, let's give it a name and give it a permalink. Okay, let's publish it. I hope everything will go well. Yeah, and let's view the page. Okay, now we have this button. We have this button right now by this course. We didn't know what the course name is, but yeah, we can get it by this title. Okay, so so normally if you click on this, it will send you to a checkout page. Let's inspect. It has all the HTML of the button that we copy before, but and but it has an action. The action is that it send the request to this link. Okay, so let's do it. Let's click on buy this course and see what happens. Okay, it's, it is reloading. It is reloading to yes, the checkout page exactly. Check out it and the lesson. The course learning jQuery mobile for beginners has been added to your course. So that's it. That is how we create the button. All we have to do now is to create the landing page. Create this landing page. So I would prefer using the front end editor. But before that, I'm going to change it to the home page template so that it will get rid of all the sidebar. And give it a full full width page like this. Okay, so now I'm going to edit this and get, let's give some rows, add some element, add a row. And in this row, I'm going to add this section, this part with the title of the course and some buttons. And we can use the text blocks. That is a very easy, a very simple way. So let's do text editor. It is an add one, the heading tab. So it is learning jQuery for beginner 101. Let's say I don't really remember the name of the course, but let's say that's it. Okay, and I will send the uh, text. Okay, save. And give it some some design, like some padding over the top, like 120 and bottom 120, and give it a uh, background image. I already have this image before, so I'm going to use it again. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's load it. Just click on save change. 
I'm going to add some other buttons, but before that, I'm going to add a new row. No, let's add some. Okay, I'm going to add a new row inside this and give it a and divide it into two. And for each row, each column, I'm going to add a button. Um, let's say team button video preview. I'm not going to add any destination UI or yet, but for your course you can do that. Mm -hmm. Routing, very routed. Okay, so this this one team button is not very useful so I'm going to use another button widget button so this one button again video preview style um, outline I like this and the shape is round you see this if you choose square it will be square if you choose rounded it will be a little bit rounded in the corner but if you choose round it will be very rounded and the color will be classic right size let's say large and alignment will be on the right in the right and add an icon maybe let's let's add an icon mm -hmm. download is there a download button? Okay, I see. Oh, actually, this is video preview, so I'm going to use it. I can and save the change. I'm going to duplicate it so I don't have to search for it again. And I will add to this row. Oh, it's very hard. Oh, okay, okay. And edit the button. buy it. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not correct. Actually, this is a button for video preview and this is the button. The HTML that we created before is actually the button for buy this course. So I'm going to drag it to this area. And its format will be a little bit different, but let's not forget it. Let's not think about it now, but let's focus on working. Okay, the next thing is one four and three four, but I'm going to add a row, a parent row for that. One four and three four. Okay, so we have this. It will be this one, this one, one four and three four. Oh, and before that, as I remember, it is it extended to both sides of the website, extended to the left and to the right. So we are going to change the row a little bit. Let's go to design option and choose the size is cover. Right? I'm not sure. Oh, the row strap is strap row and set change and update. Let's see what happens. I hope everything will go well. Let's go to, to the page. Okay, now you can see this. This is almost done. All you have left is to edit the styling for everything and to add sections like text let me try adding text adding text is very easy and let me try add some images you can also use the text block to add image
that is just an example but because there is just an example I'm going to do it very simple <coughs> and I want it to be somewhere to the left to start somewhere to the left so we're going to row setting and design option and margin will be like let's say 60 and margin y will be 60 if you are not sure with something, just try it, change all the values and see what happens. If it's not what you wanted, you can always change it by. Okay, so I think that's it. We can just update it. And view the page. Oh, you see? So, there is the cover with the button and the images and the text content. And that's it. You can, if you spend enough time to customize this page, you will have this page like this, have something like this. And it's very easy. And now you have total absolute, con absolute control over everything over the cost planning page and you can use this cost this link to send to your friends use this to send to your students so they will buy this course it will be more flexible and hope this will be helpful for you thank you